Wow, we are going to be making this clip on together and we'll be right back. Now, this is what I'm going to start with the left leg. So for you to know where to place it, just place your hand on it this way. So look at this side. So where that side is on your sole, on your insole, mark it. Then you come to this side and pick this place. I mean here. And pull it in so so we have this and we have this i hope we can see it this is one here and this is another one here so by the time we want to last our shoe it means the first one will be here then we have this one going this way if we can see it and then the second one also goes after it and we have both of them standing this way so let's quickly get at that now don't forget this is going to be under this one will be the first one we are going to be lasting just follow the mark for the lower part you can also use your hand if you want to for the lower part all you need to do is just place your whole hand like this place your whole hand this way then make sure your hand is is a little bit tilt not too tilt and this is what i mean you can see that my hand is actually standing like perpendicular to this particular if there's a line here but the way it is now i'm going to slant it a little bit because i want this this particular place to go a little bit downward can you see it this and this so just a little bit this one should go a little bit downward than this so that's how we're going to place it so we'll bring it in if you don't want your own to be as low as this you can move your hand up a little bit like one centimeter one centimeter and just use it if you don't want it to come down as much as that so we are, i'm going to quickly apply gum on it now Just apply the gum on it like that. Apply the gum on this side so and we'll come to the lower side too and apply the gum. Then we leave it. You can see I've applied gum on our clip-ons too. You can see. I'm going to apply on this one too. Let's apply on it. So we leave and allow them to to dry up that's what we're going to do now we allow them to dry up as you can see it's not tacky we can use now look at you, you will find out that the the sole that i'm using is size 38 but the person i'm actually making this size for uses when you consider the width of the leg and how wide the person's leg is is as good as wearing size 40 and that's why i'm using a size 40 last so when you're working you have to work with the size of whoever you are actually making 
to shoes for. That is really, really very important. So because the flat, the black one is a one staying on that, we are going to start with the black. So you can first of all look at the back, as you can see. Place it. You can see that it's slant. I didn't. I didn't place it straight away. It's slant. So I think with this, it will be easy for me to. Can you see? It's not reaching. That is why it's advisable to put it on it. That is the best way to, to work with it. So what I'm going to do is just. You see that I didn't put it this way. I did not put it straight like this. Abby. I try to slant it because it's coming down. So let's slant it this way. So don't forget our line is still here. it we find out that this one is not staying well place it very well and adjust it make sure that this one you pull it downward this way or yes this side will be opening up to be opening up so pull it downward like that and last it so you can see what we have now so let's go to the second part we are going to the second part which is our clip on so for this as well you have to ensure you see it so this one is coming down this way don't forget we still have one that is still coming to this side so i think you don't have to pull it too much if you pull it too much the design will not be obvious anymore so that's why i try to release it back don't pull it too much so that the style will be obvious now let's go to the second one now See, see the way it's climbing on it you can sort this house by reducing this on this side and then we have our clip on slippers in that now it's ready now as you can see just going to place it on our sole you can also find this on a flat sander if you flat sole if you don't want something like this you can make it on a flat so let me remove the last for us to see this is what we're going to have so what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to place this here i place it on it and use it to mark out those side that i use so that the two of them will be same thing that's what i'm going to do do the same thing on this side as well come to the lower part and do the same thing do the same thing here as well do the same thing here and i'll last the same way i last the first one 